there is a good reason why a PCR test is the most preferred or one of the gold, is the gold standard. It's because it tells you that a virus is present. And not only that, but for economic purposes, it can give you some parts of the virus that over time, when you put together, you can have what we refer to as a complete genome, which is the whole map of the virus. Here at the airport, forgive me, it's not about academic research. We are interested in two things. The test must be very specific and sensitive, which means it must tell us that this guy has the virus if he has it. And if the test says it's negative, really, you pose no risk to Ghanaians. And we got a solution that was checked at Noguchi, checked with FDA, checked with Ghana Standards Board, and came out with a specificity and sensitivity rate of between 99 to 100%. Now, secondly, we also were interested very much in the time, the turnaround time, how long it takes to get the results. And after going through a lot of testing, we had a minimum of 12 minutes, maximum of 30 minutes. And with these two indicators, we now had to decide whether $150 of having the two most important requirements met is reasonable or not. And um, when we considered other things, we thought that comparing this figure to others around and what would what, what you would have spent. I think let me take my time to speak about this. Before this reopening, we had evacuation, special flights coming to Ghana. Any passenger who got on board actually paid for two weeks of hotel bills before coming to Ghana. And if you are paying an average of, let's say, even $70 a night, you have to multiply $70 by 14 days. The cost far overwhelms what you charge for um, how do you call it, the test we are doing right now. Secondly, 